Graphene Manufacturing Group produces graphene from natural gas and uses it to create energy-saving products. Their thermal XR coating tech improves efficiency in HVAC and uh, refrigeration systems. Uh, the company has just announced a major commercial milestone, uh, a distribution deal with BRF, which is one of the world's largest refrigeration wholesalers. Now, now Craig, we're going to bring you in here. Uh, BRF has 73 locations across Australia. What does this kind of deal uh, mean for your revenue potential? Yeah, thanks for having me back on. Uh, this is a really big milestone for the company. Uh, Thermal XR is a product that we've been uh, producing and selling for many years now. It became the Australia's um, uh, product of the year in the air conditioning industry last year. Uh, but this year, we've now seen the first major milestone with Bayer Ref, which is one of the largest um, air conditioning and refrigeration products uh, distribution companies in the world. Uh, now, basically from mid this month in November, uh, you can now ask for graphene, our graphene coating on their products. And they've got over 70 locations in Australia. Uh, they, they actually have a large percentage of the market share in Australia for this type of product, the distribution of chillers. And obviously, they're a very large company around the world. So it's a big step. Uh, first type of uh, graphene coating or any coating where you can actually get it with an optional extra, um, you know, is certainly in Australia. So it's a big step for us, a big step for the industry. Um, and we're really happy to be working with BRF. They're an amazing company. What's the efficiency, though, that customers gain? What can what can customers expect yeah. now with, with this uh, tech? Yeah, so basically they get a five-year warranty from our graphene coating because we can genuinely give them uh, no corrosion with many hours. So 20,000 hours for so far with no corrosion under testing. Uh, so that five-year warranty is normally more than what you would normally get out for a coil. And then you generally get 10 to 20% increase in efficiency um, from that equipment, uh, depending on how it's used. So, you know, I think most people are buying it for the corrosion resistance. Um, but of course, there will be some who will be very happy to see that in reduction of energy costs as well. Right. Yeah. I mean, you have to convince customers to pay extra for this uh, optional coating. How do you do that with uh, BRF? Yeah, so we've been working with Bayerif for a number of years and doing a lot of projects with them. And um, they're um, a world leader in what they do. They expect um, very high precision from our product, which they, they you know, we expect as well. Um, so when, you know, we're able to show in the past a number of projects that have been successful, um, some really large projects, in fact, for supermarket chains and, 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 and various other types of projects for them, it's been able to, and they've seen the benefit. Um, there are the coatings on the market. Um, basically, we're a better coating. We're longer lasting. We're, we're energy efficient. We get it done. You know, we get the service done within a very short period of time, and we have um, a, a guaranteed pricing. So there are things there that make us very attractive. But in fact, we're attractive in pretty much every step of the customer decision ladder, which has made us get this deal across the line. Um, and, you know, we really expect a, a lot of things that come from it. I think it will literally change the Australian market where every coating, every uh, coil eventually should be coated with our coating. And then I think that will lead the rest of the world to, to see and understand how better a graphene coating is for their air conditioners. Well, what's next for Thermal XL beyond Australia? Because like you said, you want to take this global eventually, but how do you cross Australian borders? We'll sure. Forward. So we have uh, we're waiting for the EPA approval for the American market. We've had a, a partner called Nucalgon. Nucalgon's basically the Cadillac of air conditioning coatings. They've been around for seventy years, forty four thousand distribution points in North America. Uh, so once that EPA approval comes through, which we believe will come through in December, so a month away or so, we'll be able to start shipping to them. Um, which you know we will be able to do some deals like this over there through them, obviously with them. Uh, they're, they're obviously our American distributor. So uh, that's a big step. The, the other space we're working on is uh, actually our small pack product. So we actually have uh, already released and, and we're about to launch the full website with our uh, ability to be able to buy online. The ability to buy our coding for basically your, your one and done guys, your, your, your home uh, residential, uh, home DIY, however you want to say it. Uh, people who want to be able to use the power of graphene on their air conditioning and stop corrosion. 
Um, and so we'll be launching that shortly. So that's a different uh, type channel to market, and we've been spending a lot of work and effort this year to get there. So that'll be also launched as well. So we'll have the full commercial distribution channels open up with, with the likes of Bayer. We've also got our American distribution partner through their distribution channels. And then um, we'll be having our small packs open up through distribution online, as well as um, through other channels around the world as well. So three ultimate channels, because you, you, a product like this can be used anywhere on any uh, kind of heat exchanger and corrosion resistant uh, problem. And before you go, why would, uh, in your hopes to go global, why would, say, a North American distributor look to GMG, an Australian group, versus looking within North America for uh, a provider like yourself? Yeah, so we're basically the only company in the world that makes a graphene coating for air conditioning or heat exchangers. Uh, our product is, is patented in Australia, and we expect it to be patented shortly in America, which means for 20 years we have this space um, uh, I guess locked up in a way. Um, obviously, branding, products development, distribution, pricing, service, all those things help, but a patent really does work. Um, with a patented already in Australia, we expect that. Generally, that means it's going to go to America, it's going to go to Canada, it's going to go around the world to Europe as well. Um, and then it's just the fact that you've got to be able to make this stuff. It's really difficult to make. We've been making it for eight years. It's a nanomaterial mixed in a coating with precision of five micron coating thickness. Um, it's truly revolutionary on many fronts and we know how to apply it as well. All of those things need to be developed. So you can't just make the graphene, you've got to do the coating and then you've got to be able to apply it with a, and then have confidence that it's going to stay. So all of those things put together means it's, it's going to be very difficult for someone to come into this market. We'll be ready for them anyway, um, because it is a massive market, uh, but we do think that we have a very compelling offer now. All right. Well, Craig, thanks for being here. Uh, we hope to see you in another update. Congrats again on the commercial milestone. Thank you very much for that. Mm -hmm. GMG um, on CEO.ca to see what folks might be saying about the company on the website. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.